Hi guys, Arpun Mukherjee here, coming back with a brand new chemistry episode. The, on the last episode, we talked about common and effect. Today, we will shift our focus to organic chemistry. Today, I will elaborate about substitution nuclear reaction, that is, SN reaction. You can tell it as nucleic substitution. Okay, so, and one thing, if you like my effort, Please leave a like to this episode and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel that will be a great boost to my channel and I will thought you are supporting me. Okay then we may start substitution nucleophilic. Okay, this is substitution nucleophilic to this topic. So we, we know that it is two types. Uh, you can tell it SN reaction, substitution nuclear reaction or nucleophilic substitution. It depends on you what you want to tell it. Okay, now <coughs> two types of SN reaction. What are they? That is SN1 and SN2. SN1 is substitution nucleophilic unimolecular and SN2 substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. So, I think you know what is nucleophile. Still, I am telling you guys what is nucleophile. Uh, guys, see, there are two types of reagent. One is nucleophile, another is electrophile. A, nucle a nucleophile is a reagent which, who, which loves nucleus. What does it mean? A nucleo means nucleus and file means loving. So it's a nucleus loving. What does it mean? Uh, nucleophile is a reagent or, or species which have lone pairs and can donate these lone pairs to other reagents. Okay, so this nucleophile has at least one pair of electrons that it can donate. Okay, and what is electrophile? An electrophile is an electron loving species. Electrophile. Okay. So it is electro electron. Electro from electron and file means loving. So electron loving species. So what is electrophile? An electrophile is a reagent which have deficiency of electrons and can at least can at least accept a pair of electrons. They are called electrophiles. We can discuss about this about it later on but today our focus is, is substitution nuclear reaction still I am, I, I am giving you some examples of it uh, electrophiles option is H plus ALCL3 SBCL5 and like others cations carbocations cations like C R R R plus these are Electrophiles, etc. There are many other. But remember, Na plus, K plus, Ca2 plus. These cations are not electrophile because this species can't accept at least a pair of electrons. Okay, and the examples of nucleophiles are H2O, OH minus, alkoxide. And dot dot dot. There are many other. Now shift to our main focus. SN1 reaction. Substrate. Substrate is 3 degree. Tertiary system. Generally. Generally. Okay. Another example. As a piece is tertiary butyl bromide plus water, heat is applied and we get product tertiary butyl alcohol. Okay, plus there beer minus plus H3O plus okay, it is nothing but hydrolysis. Okay. So, um, another example, Me3, 
C B A plus K O H. Here M here M E is C H three group. Nothing else. K O H. No heat applied. You can apply heat, but need, don't need to. It's K plus. Okay. So these are the examples, and we can show the parts of this reaction. You can see the parts of the reaction. The uh, parts I can see the first reaction CH3C, CH3, CH3, Br. Okay, then it is a, in the slow step. Is the red data red determining step, and then it forms a carbocation. Forms a carbocation plus. Okay, plus Br minus. Okay, it aqueous, so it is sp2 carbon and is coplanar flat. Okay, now the part one and step two. Start the step two, nothing additional water just into carbocation. So CH3, C, CH3, CH3 pass is a water molecule here. That's just These reactions are very fast. Very fast. Oxygen O O plus and the addition. Next water molecule is coming again to snatch hydrogen. The base, of course. You can write M three C O H. So you get the analysis. Is this you can say this diff as diff three. Okay, so for the reaction, for the for this reaction, the same reaction, just the just we the nucleophile here was water. It is a nucleophile. Nucleophile here was water, and here the nucleophile is OH minus. It is OH minus. Just OH we, we just add OH minus here, here, here. OH minus here to form the product directly. This product we get the directly this product. No. There is no need to abstract the proton by a water molecule. We just we can just come to this product directly. This this carbon is formed and then OH minus attacked here and then form the product. Okay. See guys, what why it is a SN one reaction? Because in the slow step, a molecule are dissociating to form a carbocation. So a species is dissociating dissociation. So this is SN1 reaction. We can write the rate expression here. See, rate is K into K into substrate. It is the rate expression for the SN1 reaction. So you can see the power of it is 1. So it is unimolecular reaction. So it is SN1 reaction. Guys, uh, we can see the energy diagram of energy diagram of the SN1 reaction but uh, sadly sadly I can't provide you today because scanty of time you know so if you if you need it please inform me my email id is given arpanmukhajiatrajoho.com you can contact me there if you need it please contact me I will show you the energy diagram okay uh, there are two transition states there uh, the transition 1 and transition 2 there is stereochemistry, of course, but remember, uh, if you need it, please let me know. If you need it, please comment, hashtag energy diagram, and if you don't, hashtag OK. Now, now guys, uh, I will tell you about when to decide it will be SN1 or SN2. Guys, see, uh, if, if you found uh, carbocation stable, uh, by some some electronic effects like resonance or like hyperconjugations or like inductive effect, then the stable species, uh, the carbon is stable, and then the product will dissociate and it will form a carbocation, and the reaction will go to SN1. Okay, so this is the process. So I will later on decide. I will later on tell tell, tell you guys the how to decide to see the carbocation stability okay next now the stereochemistry in SN1 reaction see this is the example here 
it is a compound KOH and these are the products see it is pure chemistry so I have shown these bonds what is the bonds the, the, this bond lies behind the page and this one up the page okay now uh, see how the reaction goes path see the path please you know it is slow step here this is here so it is now it is ph it's h it is planar plus cover planar okay it is flat uh, you can say that i have written this why these bonds because i have i have projected it in the this this type of plane see this type of the com the compound the, the, the cation is situated like this it is not like this it is like this so i have seen like this okay plus b or minus and you know the next step you know the next step just oh minus will attack see it has two sides to attack the cation is like like this and it has two you see it has two sides one side is here the other side is the back side okay so this can attack with two sides so when it attacks this side it is SN, it is sp2 the carbo carbon here is transporting to again transporting to sp3 from sp2 so uh, if it attacks this from this angle the bonds will move how it will move see oh see now this bond will come here ch3 and h will be here okay if it attacks here see oh will come inside see the ph okay then h here and ch3 here okay See, it is one. If it is two, so the one product is this one, and the second product is this one. See, it is. See, the number two product is the retained product. Retained. It has retained its structure, and it is inverted product. Inverted. See here. It if it is. It, it's A, B, and C. It is just nothing but the priority order a b and c uh you can going arrow here so what is this it is going clockwise and clockwise is and clockwise so it is basically is s okay i think you know the naming of nomenclature of it then in this compound it is a it is b it is c it is d so going again it, it is s you see a b c going this it is r so c if it is inverted product, it is S, it is R, and it is S, it is S, so it is retained product, and it is inverted product. I have seen. I have done it here. Okay. It is M, and then it is N. Now I will talk about the rates. Okay, I have done it before, so and I will just show you that. See. When a living group is same, the carbocation stability decides the rate. Okay, the more the stability, the higher the rate. Okay, the general order: three degree car, three degree. See three degree carbocation that produce the compound that produce three degree carbocation. That the rate is fast than two degree, than one degree, and a point to be noted that one degree. Carbocation formation of one degree carbon doesn't happen in a similar reaction because one degree carbocation isn't stable, it's not that much stable. Then, then you see, B at B, there are phenyl some phenyl substitution groups and some compounds there comparing the rates. At first, their pH3Cl, uh, this compound is very stable as pH3 is benzyl groups and 
this group provides the carbocation with resonance, so it is very stable. And then pH to CHL one pH less, but still has two pH with the resonance, so it's stable. And then the next one, CH three holtrice three C tartrate butyl group. See, and in this the carbocation form after this compound. Uh, in a stability with the hyperconjugation and next is one degree benzyl and then the allyl and then ethyl okay these are reds just remember vinyl and aryl groups doesn't undergo SN1 okay and uh, not only SN1 these two compounds doesn't undergo SN2 also and then number three is there is a hetero compound where our oxygen is situated there is a compound and this, this kind of compounds undergo SN1 very fast. It has a greater rate than a benzyl and a tartrate butyl. Remember, and any heterocyclic compound like this compound can be like CH2 here, R the allyl, it is allyl alkyl group as a NH, it can be NH here, CH2L. So it, this kind of the compound. So, this the compound here. It, it undergoes SN1 very fast. Why? See, the, the compound leads to the carbocation is this one, and see, it has a resonance stability. So, so the rate is very high. Okay, guys, uh, same case you can show it with it. Okay, now, uh when the alkyl group is same, we'll come to the red when the living groups. They're talking about living groups. See, the better the living group, the better the red. Okay. So for us, I minus is a very good living group. Why? Because its polarizability is very high and it is a very good necrophile. So the red Ri greater than RBR, greater than RCL, greater than RF. Well, the, if you consider the nucleophiles, uh, you consider the living groups that is I minus, BR minus, CL minus, and F minus. I minus is the best nucleophile, and F minus is the worst. So, I minus is a good living group, and its polarizability is very high. So, for these reasons, I minus is a very good living group. Okay, so a living group is good of its basicity is less. Okay, a living group can have a good nucleophilicity, but it's basically have to be less. A living group is good if its basicity is less. Sus. Some examples are given below. So that is R O C H three, R O C O C H three, and R O S O two C H three. Okay. Uh, o C H three is the alkoxide. O C H three is the alkoxide. Okay. And next is acetyl group. O C O C H three. And next is O S O two C H three. Three, three groups okay this in this case the negative charge at O minus is localized so it is unstable and it has a tendency to give away this electron pair so it is a very good base strong base and the next one we see there there is a, a resonance here huh. okay the next one see there are two resonance here at above and low so uh, these two species B and C is stable, but uh, at the case B, it has just one resonance, and uh, at C, it has two resonating structures. So, density order as follows it is one greater than two greater than three, and it localized and it is distributed one and distributed twice. Okay, so living ability, I have told you earlier. A living group is good if it is less. So, let me let three get in two get in one. And now I will talk about the solvent. Which kind of solvent we can use for SN one reaction? Mainly polar protic with high polar character. You use for SN one reaction. Some examples we can given H two O alcohol and acetic acid or formic acid. Okay. Now, so. Remember, SN1 reaction is carried, carried forward in a highly polar-charactered solvent. Without it, 
it can't be possible because SNO1 reaction undergoes with the carbocation formation of a carbocation so it is very important to have a polar character of solvent now guys that's it for today and hope you enjoyed today's video i will soon bring sn2 for you guys thank you for watching please subscribe